Hi everyone. Today I am going to start with a new series. That is the class 10 previous paper IMO questions. Okay. I thought of doing it chapter wise all the questions which I asked for the last 5 years. But looks like right. Those some of the required more explanation on that each chapter. Okay. So that in the trial basis I am going to do one or two problems from the each chapter initially. If I get the more responses from you all, I will do for the last five years question papers. All the questions are asked in the each chapters. Today I am going to solve one of the questions asked in the 2020-21 set A in the polynomial equation in the achiever section. Okay. So here are the T3 questions asked and the corresponding choices as given A, B, C, D here. Let's see which is the right option. Okay. I will give the brief explanation of the each problem and solution and some of the tricks to solve quickly. So let's start the first question. Okay. So the first question which he asked here is there is a alpha beta or the roots of the polynomial equation. So this is the polynomial equation. So it looks it is second order polynomial equation. Okay. So, he is given the one of the condition is alpha minus beta equal to 1. Okay. Then we need to find the k value. Okay. So, we need to know the, the relation between the roots and the coefficients for this. Okay. So, general form of the second order of the polynomial equation f of x is equal to x square plus bx plus c if alpha, beta are the roots of this polynomial equation. That means, f of x equal to 0, right? Roots of the polynomial equation. Then, x minus alpha into x minus beta are the factors for the polynomial equation. Okay? So, then we will give the constant also because sometimes the x square coefficient also will be there, right? That is why there is a constant way to keep it here. Okay? okay? So, if this one, if we equate with the base equation like x square plus bx plus c here, okay? Then, if we simplify this expression and we compare the each coefficients from this expression, then we will get the relations like alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a and alpha into beta equal to c by a will get. Okay. So, I think you need to remember these relations, okay, for solving these kind of problems. Okay. These are very simple relationship. Okay. So, whenever any equation is given, first try to convert, okay. For example, uh, the roots of this equation, right, how do you do the roots of this equation? It will equal, equal to 0, right. So, ax square plus bx plus c, will, we are equating to 0, right. So, then we divide the entire term with the a, okay. Always keep the x square coefficient as a 1, okay. That is a very simple way to do. Okay, then we will get the b by a x here plus c by a equal to 0. So, b by a you can be written like minus alpha plus beta here, right? So, x square here minus alpha plus beta x plus c by a can be written alpha beta equal to 0. Okay, this is the key expression you need to remember. Okay, so in the in the First, we will convert the ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 equation into this format. Then, we will write into the alpha, beta or the roots of this equation. Okay. When you compare this equation with this equation, we can correlate that the x coefficients that is minus alpha plus beta equal to minus 5, right? So, alpha plus beta equal to 5, right? So, already given that alpha minus beta is 1. Okay. So, we have the two equations here. Okay. If we sum up these two equations, so beta, beta get cancelled here. So, that it will become like 2 alpha equal to 6 and alpha equal to 3. Right. We substitute alpha into this equation here. So, beta will be 2. Okay. So, now we know alpha equal to 3 and beta equal to 2. Okay. So, again if we, if we compare the constant here, 
So the constant alpha into beta equal to k, right? So here alpha is 3 and beta is 2, okay? 3 into 2 equal to k. So k equal to 6, right? So the answer for the first question is 6 here. So you need to remember this generalized form with three roots of the polynomial equation, okay? Now we'll solve the second problem, okay? So the second problem, there is a fourth order polynomial equation is there. If we divide this polynomial equation with this second order polynomial equation, then we'll get the remainder as x plus q, okay? Let's divide. How do we do that? So we'll write the basic equation here. That is x to the power of 4 minus 6, 6 cube plus 16x squared minus 25x plus 10, right? So we'll put it this way. x squared minus 2x plus p, right? Okay. Now, we, we need to find the, this, copy, this term to get cancelled the first term of this equation. So if we multiply in if you multiply this equation with x square here, so we'll get the x to the power of 4 term, right? So that the first term will get cancelled. That's why we will do it with x square first. So if you multiply x square with this entire terms here, x square into x square is x to the power of 4. So minus 2x plus x square is minus 2x square, right? Plus p into x square is p x square. Okay. If you subtract these two, then we'll change the direction, right? Minus sign, plus sign, and minus sign, right? So the first terms will get cancelled here, right? So these two will get cancelled here. Then if we do it here, this will become like minus 4 x cube. Okay. And if you do it here, this is 16 minus p x square, right? So 16 minus p x square. So anyhow, the minus 25 x plus 10 will be there as it is, right? Okay. Now what do you do with the next term here? We need to get cancel this term. If you multiply with the x, we'll get the x, x into x square, we'll get the x, uh, x cube we'll get. But we need minus 4x cube, right? So that we will do it minus 4. Minus 4x we will do, okay? With minus 4x if you do, okay? Minus 4x into x square is minus 4x cube. Okay? Minus 4x into minus 2x. It is a plus 8x, right? Okay, so p into minus 4x is minus 4px, okay? If again, similarly, if you subtract these two equations here, so here become plus sign, minus sign, and plus sign here. So these two will get cancelled here. So if you do it here again, sorry, plus 8x square here, sorry here. So here minus 4x and minus 2x is plus 8x square here, okay? So if x squares get common here, then what will happen? This will become like 16 minus p and minus 8 x square, okay? So for the x, 4p minus 25, x plus 10, right? So we need to do one more term here. So if we simplify this, 16 minus 8 is 8, right? So it became like 8 minus p. Instead of another step, I'm just erasing and putting 8 minus p here.
ओके एट माइनस पी एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर पी माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स प्लस टेन राइट सो टू गेट कैंसल दिस टर्म एंड यू हैव एक्स स्क्वेयर हियर सो दैट वी विल डू विथ एट माइनस पी हियर ओके फिर डू एट माइनस पी इंटू एक्स स्क्वेयर विल गेट अगेन एट माइनस पी एक्स स्क्वेयर ओके क्लियर माइनस टू इंटू एट माइनस पी एक्स ओके प्लस पी इंटू एट माइनस पी ओके अगेन इफ यू डू इट हियर लाइक दिट राइट सो यू नीड टू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस टू इक्वेशन राइट माइनस प्लस माइनस राइट सो वॉट एप एंड दीज टू टर्म्स गेट कैंसल इफ यू डू इट हियर लाइक राइट सो बोथ वी नीड टू एड अप ओके सो इफ यू एड अप वॉट यू गेट इफ यू टेक द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स हियर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द कॉन्स्टेंट हियर दिज आर सिक्सटीन हियर इज द माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव How much you get minus nine? You will get the constant here. Okay, minus nine. P if you take it here, we have the minus two. Minus two p. This is a plus four p. Okay, so plus two p will be there, right? Okay, plus two p. X. Okay, plus. If you take the constant as ten here. And here this is a minus right minus eight p, so minus minus plus p square. Okay. So finally we got the coefficient. Sorry, finally we got the remainder minus nine plus two p into x plus ten minus eight p plus p square. We got it. Okay. If we compare this equation, what is what is said? The remainder is x plus q, right? So for the what is the x coefficient here? So one, right? So that this must be equal to one, right? So if we compare the x coefficients here, if we compare the x coefficient, so minus nine plus two p must be equal to one. So this is what the right x coefficient is on here, and here x coefficient is minus nine plus two p. Okay. If we take the two p equal to, we go nine. That's it. Ten, and p equal to five. Right? So far. So this entire it is a q is a another uh, constant, right? So the q equal to there's the here q. Ten minus eight p plus p square. Okay. Ten minus eight into what is the p? P is the five. Okay. Plus p square is twenty five. Okay, twenty-five plus ten is thirty-five minus forty, right? So it will become minus five. Okay, so final answers for this question is p is equal to five and q is equal to minus five. So the answer here is five comma minus five. First question answer is six, right? Okay, so find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are reciprocal of the zeros of 4x square minus 3x plus 1. Okay, so this problem can be solved the two ways. Okay, first let's see. So roots of this equation is reciprocal of this another polynomial equation. We need to find the that polynomial equation. Okay, so that what we will find right first we will find the roots for this equation. So finding the roots right will equal it to zero right. So 4x square minus 3x minus 1 equal to zero. Okay. How to do the factorization method? This is the a term. This is the c term, right? We will multiply the a c a into c term. Okay, so that four into minus one we will do. So minus four. So factors for this minus four is one into four. Okay, and then two into two, then four into one, right? So if we, if we check four into one here, okay, then we will get the minus three x here. Let's see how we get. So four x square, this can be written like minus four x plus x minus one equal to zero. See, so minus four x plus x is minus three x here. 
4 into 1 minus 1 is, we will get the minus 4 here. That is the AC term. Okay. So, here 4x, if you take common here, x minus 1 plus x minus 1 over there, here. Okay. So, again, if you count the x minus 1 here, x minus 1 into 4x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So, x is equal to 1 comma minus 1 by 4. Right. So, what he said, the another polynomial equation we need to find, those polynomial equation roots are reciprocal of this. Okay. So, the new roots for the for the new polynomial equation is reciprocal of 1 is again 1. Okay. So, another root is reciprocal of minus 1 by 4 is minus 4. Right. Okay. Now, we know alpha and beta, we need to find the equation. What is the general form of the polynomial equation with the roots x square minus alpha plus beta x just now I wrote this right. So, into alpha beta equal to 0. Okay. We just substitute these two numbers into this equation x square minus what is alpha plus beta minus 3 right. Okay. x plus alpha into beta is minus 4 equal to 0. So, x square plus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. So, this is the equation. So, this is the one method. This can be the last problem can be solved with another method. Okay. So, what what do is there? So, so, the given equation is 4x square minus 3x minus 1 equal to 0 for the roots I am writing, okay. So, what I said, I always you divide with the coefficients of the x square here, okay. Then, we will get the x square minus 3 by 4x minus 1 by 4 equal to 0 here, okay. So, this can be written like x square minus 3 by 4 x by 4 equal to 0. Okay. So, some of the roots here is alpha plus beta is equal to 3 by 4 and alpha into beta equal to minus 1 by 4. Okay. What I said for the new equation is a reciprocal of this, right? Then how do I write the new equation you see here? So, x squared minus instead of alpha, it is the reciprocal of that, right? So, 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta into x plus 1 by alpha 1 by beta equal to 0. Okay. For the new new equation, the reciprocal of this root side, right? that is why I write the equation directly in this form. Okay. So, if, if you take this equation here, x square minus, we will substitute here. Okay. What is the LCM here? Alpha into beta, right? So, that we will get beta plus alpha here into x. It is 1 by alpha beta equal to 0. Okay. So, x square minus what is alpha plus beta here? It is 3 by 4. What is alpha beta here? Minus 1 by 4. Okay. X plus 1 by what is alpha beta? Minus 1 by 4 equal to 0. Okay. Here 4, 4 get cancelled. Minus, minus get cancelled. So, that x square plus 3x this 4 will go up. So, minus 4 equal to 0. Okay. So, we can solve this way or that way. Okay. The third one. So, final our answer sir. For the first question, we have the 6 is our answer. And second question is the 5 comma minus 5 is the answer. And third question is the equation is x square plus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Okay, right. So, what do we have here? Okay, what I am saying, right? You need not to solve 3 in the in your examination, okay? So, the first question, I have 6 is there, right? That is easily solved. So, that we have the two choices here, A or D, okay? Then, you solved the third question, okay? Then, we got the answer as this, right? Okay? 
then obviously the second question is, should be correct, right? So that is 5 comma minus 5. Okay. So the final answer is first. Okay. I will create new videos which is covering the each chapter, all the questions covered in the last five years question papers. If I get more responses, I will try to do. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like and share with your friends. Thank you.